Need a break? How about a forest fast break? Brought to you by forestinfo.org. Today's topic, forest fire. As a kid, we're taught that fire is bad, but fires happen naturally in the forest more often than you might think and often play an important role for the forest. In certain types of forests, fires naturally burn the underbrush every five to 30 years. And for the most part, that was a good thing. They were usually low intensity fires that controlled the brush and the pests and gave more room to the strongest trees. But over 100 years ago, we started putting out the fires to protect our forests and our expanding communities. The absence of fire has allowed small trees and brush to build up to unnaturally crowded levels. Because of all this extra fuel, natural fires that would have been low intensity fires are now giant destructive fires, damaging trees, soils, water quality, wildlife habitat, and sometimes communities. So how do we get our forests back to the way they should be? Foresters commonly use a couple of tools to limit the severity of fires. They thin forests to remove small, medium, and sick trees, or use machines to chop up brush and smaller trees. Then they use small, controlled fires after thinning. They call this prescribed burning. Forest management tools like these imitate what would have happened if a fire had gone through that forest, but without threatening the forest, wildlife, our communities, or our atmosphere. <coughs> and that's the story on Forest Fire. Check out more Forest Fast Breaks or visit forestinfo.org. Yay, forests!